Hey everyone, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Peter Marcos. I am the test kitchen chef here at Centennial Food Group. And today we're gonna to be cooking up some boneless chuck flats. So after trimming off any excess fat or silver skin, I'm now cutting the steaks into about 10 ounce size pieces. The marbling on this meat is absolutely gorgeous. And that's because it's from our sterling silver beef program. What that means is it's sourced only from the upper two thirds of Triple A and Prime and always has a minimum age of 21 days on it. Now when you're seasoning, don't be afraid to go heavy. A lot of it will come off on the grill. I'm using freshly ground black pepper and coarse sea salt. I like to keep it simple so that you can still taste the meat and not be overpowered by any additional seasoning. Now when you're grilling, make sure your grill is on high heat. You wanna get a good sear as soon as the steaks hit the grill. What's happening is something called the Maillard reaction. And what that is, is the caramelization of the naturally occurring sugars in the meat. That's how you get that nice crust. I flip 90 degrees, get my cross hatching, and now they're ready at a perfect medium rare. Now when I slice, I slice on a bias so that I go through all of the muscle fibers and you're not left with any tough or chewy pieces. Now this is one of my favorite lunches to have. It's very simple, roast potatoes, roast radishes, sauteed broccolini with some garlic and white wine, and mixed greens tossed in a little bit of olive oil and some lemon juice. And then I like to finish it off with a little bit of balsamic drizzle for the acidity and the sweetness.